Hello, hello, and welcome back to a new Google Space Program video and actually a challenge submission for the June 1st, 2020 Duna 100% reusable and for cheap Discord challenge. So, today's mission we're going to go to Duna and back for as little money as possible. So, here you saw two screenshots of the entire craft, however, for the challenge, we are necessary to submit every single stage and calculate the launch cost, aka the fuel, of the each stage separately. So here we have the first stage for 12,000 funds and here the second stage for just under 3,000 funds. So if we go back to an overview with the full craft empty and full and each stage calculated and put together, we actually see that each stage together costs a little bit more so we're gonna go with that number AK 15,790 funds. And with that being said, off we go. So because this is actually, like I already said, a challenge submission and not just a regular Kubel Space program mission here on the channel. Uh, we're gonna go through the entire mission in um, a, more, a bit more detail first of all. And the other small thing is there's every single correction burn is in the video footage. So you don't have to worry about um, not seeing any burns. However on the other side that means even small correction burns in interplanetary space that I usually tend to I usually always cut them out in my interplanetary voyages because I don't see the... Um, I except if it w were a tutorial, um, I'm not really interested in keen on showing you those small 20 meters per second correction burns just for plane changes. Anyways, we have to couple our third stage, put our second stage into low Cuban orbit and switched immediately back before it got too deep into the atmosphere and automatically got destroyed. After that, when, once we start having re-entry uh, re effects, going to do a small entry burn here just to slow down and not burn up. But then we're going to fall further down, open up the air brakes to slow us down until the drag chutes can start, um, can be deployed, followed by the main chute deployment and a small touchdown. We actually have a tiny bit of fuel left. After that, we recovered the first stage, but no parts were obviously shown. After that, we're going to jump back into low Cuban orbit to our main craft, um, which actually has, actually, since I haven't talked about that just yet, we have four Kubels, even though we need only three for the submission. So I'm actually one upping it a bit, so that's something I usually tend to do in my previous um, challenge submissions all the time, however, it has been quite a long while since the last chance submission. Anyways, after having left like um, Kuban's sphere of influence, we still had to do a tiny, tiny correction, well, tiny correction, but of nine and a half meters per second. Still very close to Kuban, you actually see Kuban there in the background, um, because we couldn't get the encounter, even though I performed the maneuver node almost to perfection, and we had an encounter. But anyway, so that's not really a big deal. Just a small correction burn here to get us very close to Duna, because since, um, like you know, the further away you do your correction burns from a body day, less you need to make a specific amount of correction. If you want to get like down to 20 kilometers, doing it further away is better than doing it just at the edge of the sphere of influence. Speaking of the edge of the sphere of influence, we are now just entered into the SY off Duna, and I still decide to lower our periapsis a tiny bit more. Um, yeah, th 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 there was actually honestly no reload in between. Let's just decide, yeah, let's go for a bit more aggressive aero break. So, we're obviously going to go for an aero capture since we're going to go for, like I said, very efficient, well, as cheap as possible, and that requires us to take as many shortcuts as I possibly can. Of course, reasonable shortcuts. I didn't go for a um, moon gravity assist or anything like that. Now we're entering into uh, en entering Duna's atmosphere. Thankfully, we do have a heat shield. However, the velocities on Duna are usually not dangerous. Anyways, having a heat shield is definitely good. And now comes in one of the very important features of this craft. Um, it's quite uh, after kind of I didn't really plan on making it similar in that way to Starship with this aerodynamic approach, with being able to um, kind of go into the atmosphere and then raise back up, like, um, yeah, start rising again. Um, the implant kind of did model it after Starship, but the effect is similar, so that's just a small side note. Anyways, here we have a nice gentle touchdown on the surface of Duna with our Kubels. Uh, we have primarily like the aerodynamics did most of the job slowing us down, then we deployed our drag chutes, our main chutes, 
and just for the last tiny burn with the engine just to not tip over and crash. Thankfully we do have an engineer aboard so he's gonna repack all the parachutes because we are going to need those once we are um, back on Kerbin. And after that it's obviously time for our mandatory crew EVA we're going to take out all of our nice brave Kubels and plant the flag into the ground making a nice um, screenshot there which is probably the thumbnail though don't ask me at this point in time I have no clue. Anyways after that we are going to go and do all the signs that I brought with us. This is sandbox mode so there is no need for signs equipment but still since we had um, space in the uh, and the crew, crew bay, no not crew bay, <laughs> in the um, cargo bay there I decide to let's put in some science equipment because well why not maybe having some more uses for other people that are playing on um, not sandbox but how's it called science mode, science mode, there we go after that just wait until the new transfer window, transfer window kind of, uh, from Duna to Kerbin launching on Duna, honestly speaking not a great, uh, not a great Duna ascent um, yeah, there's not really a lot to say. I was actually um, surprised, I'm kind of quite often surprised how easily you can get off Duna. But yeah, so it was just a regular Duna ascent, nothing worth mentioning. So we have now a small amount of time to talk about the craft in general. Um, the wire went with a service bay module in the front, is because I wanted to have the ability to open up those doors. Um, to create a lot of drag and flip the craft around because if you if you paid attention we were entering nose first but we want to land the opposite way around right since the landing legs are on the bottom of the craft and if you are having a pointy craft um, aerodynamics will try to keep it pointing that way and you're not going to slow down enough especially if you're coming in very steep into for example Kuban's atmosphere then you're going to crash into the ground before being subsonic where the parachutes start deploying so that's why I needed those air, uh, air brakes, those doors to open create a lot of drag flipping around the craft which is making it more having more drag slowing down until parachutes deploy anyways with that being said we are now in low e um, Duna orbit or at least I thought so since I somehow thought that the um, space starts at 40 kilometers and not 50 kilometers so I made there a small tiny burn to raise our periapsis above from 45 to 50 kilometers and after that we're going to go for our transfer burn from low Duna orbit um, to Kuban as you can see us doing the burn right now here closing in on the um, finishing the burn however even though it's like again 0.0, .0 meters per second we do not have an encounter just uh, like two minutes or so later just doing a small correction burn burn of 4 meters per second um, and we will get our um, encounter with Kuban can just happen any moment there we go there we have the encounter now we are down to 15 ish meters per second I think this will actually go down to 14 at some point maybe I don't know just so there's not really going to be anything we're going to enter the Kuban Kuban atmosphere at the altitude that we were gonna have in just a second because I'm going to raise it again to 40-ish kilometers because that's what I already said in the previous couple of videos this is the altitude I tend to go for and here we still have those 50 meters per second anyways now we're entering Kuban's atmosphere or re-entering Kuban's atmosphere um, quite well at interplanetary velocities and this is the point in time where really I'm happy to have the heat shield and the um, car cargo bay, not cargo bay, service bay. That's actually the second reason why I have the service bay. It has a very high heat tolerance, like a heat shield, and I do not want the, um, the crew capsules to blow up because of the conductive heating from the um, entry already happened in prior missions. Anyways, after three or were that four error breaking passes, I'm not quite sure, I wasn't paying attention right now, or counting at least, we are coming back down into, well, we are suborbital and entering Kuban's atmosphere for the final time. Slo um, pretty kind of standard-ish um, entry here, the only thing is I'm pointing prograde until we are no longer in danger of um, overheating, opening up the doors like I said for the flip maneuver and we actually slowed down 
fast enough uh, with slow uh, slow or sp the slow down our speed fast enough in order that the parachutes even deployed at quite high altitude. And with that, the mission is actually done since now it's just falling down on the parachute deployment at ridiculous time acceleration but thankfully we have post editing that's always brilliant and here we have a nice splashdown mission completed however things tipped over and the sign things blew up so we have to reload this again and this is the only reload throughout the entire mission and i think this is a very successful mission i hope you have enjoyed today's video as well and i hope to see you guys in the next Kerbal space program video and of course I hope that the challenge is a success. So thanks again and until next time. Space Sheep signing out.